A special promise. God was sad, very sad. Everywhere he looked, he saw people making bad choices, hating each other, hurting each other, making a mess of his beautiful world. I need to start all over again, God decided. I need to make my world clean. And that's when he talked to Noah. Noah was not like the rest. He was a good man, and God knew it. So, God told him to build a boat. A boat big enough to hold Noah, his wife, his three sons, their wives, a pair of every animal in the world, and food enough to feed all of them for a very long time. Noah's family was surprised when he told them what he was going to do. Noah's neighbours thought it strange of him to build a boat so far from the sea. And it wasn't easy chasing and catching and cleaning up after all those animals. But Noah was a good man. He did what God told him, even when it was hard. At last, when they were all tucked safely away in the boat, God shut the door. And then it started to rain. It rained for forty days. It rained for forty nights. It rained harder than Noah had ever seen it rain before. It rained so hard that the streams and the rivers and even the seas burst their banks and began to flood. Soon every sandy beach, every rocky path, every patch of muddy earth had disappeared beneath the water. And the boat began to float. It floated above the houses, it floated above the trees, it floated above the hills, and then above the mountains too. It floated for days and weeks and months. And then it stopped, stuck at the top of a tall mountain. Noah opened a window to look out. The water was going down, but the world was far from dry. So he sent out a dove. And when the dove did not come back, Noah knew that it had found a dry place to build its nest. Come out, God called finally. Come out of the boat. The world is dry. The world is clean. And now you and your family and all the animals must have children and fill it full of life again. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Hooray! Noah celebrated, and he thanked God for saving him. God was happy too. So he painted the world's first rainbow in the sky to celebrate his fresh, clean world, and to promise that he would never send a flood like that again. <laughs>